beautiful followers of my Gambia, on this month episode of Gambian Sounds, we present to you the SLA Cultural Choir. And here we have Mrs. Jena Basad, which is the manager of the group. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, my Gambia, for having the choir. So, what does SLA mean? SLA stands for the Sabali Leadership Academy, and uh, we continue and say cultural choir. Um, the Sabali Leadership Academy is an entity that was founded in 2013. It's founded by Mr. Mumudi Sabali, and the SLA Cultural Choir is a branch of, of the main academy, which engages in so many activities, in, inspirational talks, summer camps, um, football, matches, anything that will really bring out the potential in youth, in the Gambian youth. Um, it was during one of these um, summer camps that we discovered a lot of musical talent in young Gambians. And that led to the decision to bring them together and form a cultural choir, specifically targeting Gambian traditions and culture as our main um, genre of music. And why did you choose that name? I think the name just came naturally based on its origin. Regarding the cultural choir bit of it, um, it's a musical group. And uh, the idea is to really make our music very Gambian, yet at international standards. How many members are in the group? We have 13 members, including drummers, um, pianists, and vocalists. What challenges were faced by the team since it was founded? We do have a number of challenges. In a country where the music industry is still budding, is still not developed to a high level, we, we have had a lot of challenges regarding support, regarding resources to, to maintain it. The ideal would be that we would be able to um, perform shows on a full-time basis, that this would become a full-time job for them. But in reality, that hasn't happened yet because we as a culture are not still willing to pay a lot for our own musicians. It's growing and it has improved a lot in the recent years. Also, just maintaining this group with everybody else's schedule. As I said, it's not a full-time group. Um, so we have to walk around people's work schedules, people's family obligations. So that really limits the amount of time we really have to invest in, in um, practicing and also performances like it's tough to get full attendance. So what impact have those challenges led to? Did it break the group or did it bring them closer? Generally, um, the impact has been, of course, we don't want to say it's been positive because these are challenges and we need to find solutions to them. There have been some, some people who are no longer with us. Um, some people have traveled, some people have gotten married and maybe they're busy with their family obligations. But generally, the group is still quite intact. Have you guys recorded your own music? Mm -hmm. And if you have, how many? Yeah, absolutely. We have recorded a full al album um, called Gems of Our Heritage. We have also recorded singles. We have recorded a peace song. Um, recently, we also recorded a brand new video. Um, of course, rec the audio first and then the video of a song against climate change and environmental destruction. What was your biggest hit song? Out of the album, I would have to say Maisa, which is a song about orphans and how society really needs to show sympathy and empathy and care for orphans, really. How hard is it for a cultural music group to survive in an industry that is dominated by modern music? It is hard because um, nowadays with social media, with TV, with globalization, there's a lot of, a lot of inflow of um, international music. Um, but then, our, our cultural music, we consider modern. And the reason why is that, first of all, it's sung by young people. And 
when it comes to music, most of it is recycled anyway, even at the international level. And what we are doing is bringing forth old traditional songs, folk tales, but making it modern, making it appealing to the young population. And I think we have received a lot of reception and people really enjoy listening to these songs. Um, where do you guys see yourself in the next five years? We want to see ourselves on international platforms, um, festivals around the world, um, being the, expo the Gambian exports there to, to showcase Gambian culture. We continue to want to see ourselves continue because we have messages that we deliver. So even in country, we want to go nationwide as regularly as possible to deliver these important messages that we, we want to, 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 to inspire young people with. What message do you have for the world? Okay, I think that's a very timely question. Um, at this point in time, SLA Cultural Choir's message is, to the world is, let peace reign. Um, because one country's peace is another country's peace. Um, if one country is unstable in any part of the world, trust me, we can feel it here in the Gambia. So let love and peace reign on earth. Thank you. Thank you very much, Jena Basar and the whole SLA choir group. And thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram. And don't forget to subscribe to our online monthly magazine at www.my-gambia.com.